festivals are great the thing I think otherwise you spend a great deal of your time working on your own and uh, I think it's quite easy to become isolated and not to not to feel a connection with the readership and so festivals are a great opportunity I think to connect with the readership to be able to express thankfulness and gratitude that they like your last book and you know so to give them the opportunity to ask the questions they all want to ask. What an introduction that is, completely unjustified. What David didn't tell you is that when I worked for Timmy Manor, who was a sort of early comic DJ on Piccadilly Radio Manchester, my starring role was to play in a little radio drama in the afternoon the character of Zack the Zit. <laughs> Festivals are, are wonderful. Firstly, it is genuinely lovely to meet your fellow writers. You never have a chance to actually just compare notes and say, God, that's how I feel when I'm writing. So it is sort of like having your own masterclass, going back to school a bit. Um, the other thing is, I mean, it's terribly old fashioned to say, but it's great to meet your readers in person. You get emails all the time, but actually often people come up and say, you, you know, you answered my email about this, that and the other. And the questions you're asked tell you actually about the book you've written. So you learn a lot, as well as having a good time, if you're lucky. I talk about the way ordinary people live the conflict. Soldiers and sailors in the firing line, but also civilians. I talk about the way... Oh, I love the Oxford Festival because um, most festivals, my audiences are primarily teenagers. When it, for some bizarre reason, whenever I come to Oxford, my I get more adults, and I kind of like talking to adults because they don't give you that whatever look. So, yeah, special, special, my my favourite really. Even though you're not supposed to say that. Thomas and Alice. Thomas and Alice. There's a guy here who survived the Titanic. Did you hear about that story about the Titanic? hundred years ago, just over then, a ship leaves Southampton, they said it would never sink. It's a story about human arrogance, if you know what I mean. And they thought it would never sink, so they didn't have enough lifeboats, and then it struck an iceberg, and then three hours later it sank to the bottom of the ocean. And 1,517 people lost their lives, uh, including um, the father of this man, who went on when he was eight years old. He survived, because he got on a lifeboat, but his father was killed. But he survived, and he went on to win a gold medal in the tennis in the Olympics. So I thought that was a really interesting story. Have you given any thought at all to 2014? Oh, I'm always thinking about the festival. And um, one of the things that we really want to focus on next year is to make it even more international. So we had writers from over 20 countries this year. And I've been talking to the woman this morning who runs the Calcutta Book Festival. And she's going to bring a day of Indian writers for us. So that's something that we'll have in place next year that wow. doesn't exist this year. Just said. And where do you think the festival will be in 10 years? Hmm, good question. That's why it's one I can't skip. <laughs> well, I think things here to stay. And um, I'd always thought that the biggest thing we can do is leave this in Oxford for future generations. And that sounds a grand idea, but that's what we're aiming for. Mm -hmm.